Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot Pisces Aries Cuspers. This is going to be a reading from the 1st of March to the 7th of March. Thank you for all the subscribes, all the likes, all the views, all the support on the channel. I appreciate you all so very much. The comments are awesome. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single person out there. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect with you. I read the cards, you decide if they apply to you and who they would apply to. So feel free to vice versa the masculine feminine energy or if I apply a card to you and you feel like you know who it applies to but it's not you, feel free to do that as well. So the oracle cards go here which are all for you, the tarot deck over here which are the energies around you but you'll be over here as well too. So at 25, I mean at 5,000 subscribers, 5,000, I'm going to give away a deck of my cards. I'll enter a drawing when I get closer to that. I'll give instructions on how to do that. So if you're interested in any of these decks of cards and trying to get some for free, then please go ahead and keep that in mind and keep checking back to see when I have 5,000 subscribers or getting close so you can win a deck of cards. So the first one that comes up for you is 19 Healing Grief. So this talks about dealing with grief is very hard, very difficult, but it's better to feel the feelings and be present and deal with them so you can move beyond it. And have faith that you will get through the darkness and it will make you stronger and you will move forward. So I see the eagle here, it looks like to me, and it has a tiara on. So I feel like a lot of you are getting a lot of blessings, a lot of intuition. You're growing and you're balancing during this hard time. And to me, snow and some of the cards means purity. So I feel like whatever's happening could be making you more pure, could be like re-cleansing your soul, if you will, from whatever happened. Could have been really, really harsh. So the next one that comes up for you is practical intuition. So practical intuitions talks about developing spiritual um, guidance or paying attention to the messages is not the end. You can learn so much more. There's a deeper path through application of spiritual skills to create blessings in the world. The more you connect with spirit, the more wisdom you can gain. So I feel like you've been going in circles in some situation and I see you have a new beginning. So a lot of you are looking for your messages and I see the moon there. It is so bright it looks like the sun. And I see something behind you is illuminating. So I'm not sure what is behind you that is lighting you up, that maybe helped you change some direction you were going in. So the next one that comes out for you is Shadow Treasures. And Shadow Treasures talks about the dark aspects. So we all have parts of ourselves that we keep, look at that, it, hidden away from the world, not knowing that these contain treasure. Shine the light on love in the dark corners of your soul and look with compassion on these neglected qualities. You will find something very necessary to live in your soul's purpose. So there's something about dark shadows within you that can really help you grow is what I feel. So now I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck for you. So the first one you have is Three of Cups. So this is happiness and celebration. So I do feel like something is coming to you that's going to make you happy that you're going to want to celebrate. Four of Cups is somebody who um, is sad. So I don't know if somebody from your past is going to be watching you celebrate and they're going to reflect on how they could be celebrating with you, but they're not, or possibly you're going to be thinking of who you want to you wish somebody from the past was here celebrating with you. So Four of Wands, wow, you could be celebrating a marriage, new beginnings in a marriage, a new direction. And again, somebody is sad about that. So the next one is Five of Wands. So Five of Wands is people gossiping, people starting conflict, creating drama. So I feel like um, either when you announce marriage or when you say you're going to get married, it looks like there are people around you who are not happy with that and want to um, interfere. So the next one you have is Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is somebody very nurturing, loving. This queen is honest. She is very kind and she has a lot of intuition and she listens to her intuition. 
So feel free to vice versa if this would be a king for you. So if your partner comes to you and says they have intuition about somebody gossiping or lying, it would be in your best interest to listen to that person. So the next one that comes up for you is Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands tells me that you have put up boundaries to protect yourself. You have a lot of people reaching out to you, a lot of people coming towards you, and you are making sure you're protected. Seven of Wands, yeah, you're making sure that you are protected. So Ace of Swords is somebody spying on you, but this is also somebody that you want to not have in your life anymore. So I feel like it's clarifying the Four of Wands, the marriage card. So I feel like when you get ready to get married or because of your marriage, there's somebody you feel you want to push out of your life. So Queen of Coins. So we have two queens in here. So this could be you or this could be another queen. But this could signify that you are also good with your coins, that you have stability coming into you, you're grounded, and you know how to bring the coins into yourself. So Two of Cups, this person sees you as beautiful or handsome. This person sees you as very handsome, very beautiful. If you're not in a marriage or dating anyone, this would signify that somebody is getting ready to come into your life and date you, pursue you. So Moon, the Moon is Pisces placement to me, and this signifies um, balance. So you have the White Wolf, the Black Wolf with the light on the top of their head, which to me is yin and yang. And the moon usually means something coming out that wasn't known to you. So because you have your boundaries up, I feel like you're going to be aware of this was good intuition because somebody's going to try and get away with something, but they're not going to be able to because you put your boundaries up. So the emperor. The emperor is somebody who wants to run the household. He wants to know every detail that goes on in his household. He brings in a lot of coins. He's a father figure. This also could be somebody who is a boss at work or a lead or self-employment. This also could be somebody who has narcissistic traits. So the world. So the world is saying that your world is changing. It's fated that things are going to change for you. Whether you want them to change or not, the world is saying, uh, the universe is saying they're going to change your world. So it's clarifying the coins card. So I do feel like because you have the light again, you have the light over here on the wolves, and then you have your light on your head here. So I do feel like that has to do with spirituality, that you're going to listen more to the messages you get, and it's going to make you happier because you're going to make better decisions listening to your instincts, so to speak. So like the feeling in your stomach when it tells you to listen to yourself, when you're like, oh, this person's fine, and you get a weird feeling saying, no, 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 and you ignore it. You're going to be better at listening to it. So Nine of Coins, I need to switch to the next deck. Nine of Coins is a big picture success. So I feel like somebody, this person who's attracted to you, sees you as abundant. They see you totally in their future, that the big picture of life is going to include you. Or you could see this about somebody else. So the next deck is a Mystical Cats Tarot deck, and the first card is Nine of C. Wow, so we have Nine of Coins twice. So this is saying that abundance is coming to you. This one says you're balanced, your emotions are in check, and you're going to be able to stay ahead of your enemies, and you're going to have abundance come to you. There's a gold cat toy in there, so I really feel like whoever you cut out here is going to you're going to be so happy you cut somebody out of your life, whoever that person was. So four of earth is selfish. This is somebody who takes. Somebody who takes from everybody and they give nothing back. Very selfish energy. And maybe this is what's coming out that you didn't know. Because the moon always brings what you don't know aware. So earth queen is somebody who's very rigid, very opinionated, very stuck in their ways. It's one way or no way compared to this person. They're very predictable. I feel like this could be a mother to the emperor, possibly, because I always feel like this is an older female, but vice versa if it would be male for you. An ace of sky. So this is a warning to me. This is saying that I feel like you're going to get a warning about 
the mother-in-law or the female being very selfish and you're going to get that feeling in your stomach like I told you that you're going to be like oh I shouldn't go to her house today or I'm not going to take her to her doctor appointment or a voice in your head says don't take her to the doctor today there's some kind of warning concerning this person so yeah six of sky says there's a lot of drama and conflict around you and you're going to remove yourself from that energy it's you're gonna move away so we have four of fire twice so we have the marriage card again long-term celebration long-term commitment it is clarifying the selfish card so I do feel like somebody around the marriage structure not the two people that are in it somebody around them is selfish so two of fire talks about somebody looking at the past and trying to make a decision moving forward and I feel like you're looking at something. You're looking at the way the foundation was built. You're looking at the way the relationship patterns have gone. You're looking at some kind of organization throughout a relationship to make a decision. So it could have to do with the Earth Queen again. That You're going to turn around and you're going to make a decision for you and you only. So Sky Tom. Sky Tom is clarifying the warning card. So there's somebody around you who is not for your highest good. Somebody who has no ill feelings taking from you or hurting you. That's harsh. So Sea Queen is somebody who could be a counselor, a mentor, a psychic. Somebody who's grounded and you go to this person for guidance or information about the situation. So the next one is Earth Kitten. Earth Kitten is the universe sending something in to help you. It could be the counselor, could be a new job, oh yeah, a move, something to help you um, move forward in a positive direction. So Four of Sky, so you have a lot of four. So this is, oh, this is Earth Kitten, but you have the Four of Wands. So Four of Sky is telling me you're healing from something. There's something that you're healing tremendously from, and it's going to free you up to go in a forward direction. It is clarifying the um, card where you're going to turn around and make a decision. So while you're thinking about it, I feel like you're healing something, working through something. So stars, this is Aquarius placement or possibly Leo placement. So I feel like your wish fulfillment is coming true. You are going to override this negative energy who's trying to take from you or be hurtful to you. Your power is stronger than their power. So I'm going to pull the Oracle of E for you now. And the first one is Nasty Knot. So I kind of got that in there that there's somebody causing a knot in your situation, possibly in your marriage. But it's a knot, so it's going to be fixable. It's going to be able to... And seven, 47, if you add the numbers, is 11, which is a master number because it's duplicated. But I feel like something is going to come full circle to where you're going to figure out, wow, that was weird how that worked out. So the next one is 8, which is live fire, live wire. So I feel like you have a lot of energy. It's going to be a little more aggressive energy. And I feel like you're going to be on top of it. So you're going to be very active, very proactive when you're trying to deal with this knot. And then the next one is pick up after yourself, number 34. So 34 would equal 7. And I feel like the universe is trying to guide you through the, the dark. They're trying to keep you above the dark and all this stuff down here. Pick up after yourself means don't go lead people on. Don't go um, leave somebody hanging. Be clear on why you are moving away from somebody. Be clear on why you don't want to be friends with them anymore. This talks about just being very honest and open so you don't leave any room for error. You don't leave any doors open that you want to close. Don't be messy in a relationship is what that says to me. Or a friendship, anything, or a job. There's something they're telling you. Make sure you deal with it and be very neat and tidy about it, whatever that would concern to you. Could be the mother-in-law. So then the next one is 15, Adrift in Shallow Water. This is the sea turtle. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. So to me, this is adrift in shallow water. It means you're going around and round about something, which would be this up here. And there's a moon here that's light like the sun, but I see all these bubbles. So all these bubbles could be other people trying to guide you and tell you, 
I see a lot of little fish in there. So you are very strong with the turtle shell. You feel like you're alone dealing with something is what I'm getting. And it's nothing major, but it's enough that you keep going round and round about it. So you're going to get control of that, I feel. Figure that out. So 44, Unexplained Wonder. This is the unicorn fish. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your projects, all your prayers are answered now. So the unicorn fish is lit up. There's something about you that is going to light up your life that is going to answer your prayers. Something is getting ready to come in to you, I feel. Something you've wanted. So now we have 39. 39 is back on task. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you are working on could use fine tuning. So this is the squid which is nocturnal. So I feel like there's something that you either get inspired at night or you have a nighttime job or you did better when you worked at night and you're trying to work a day job. Something of that aspect is what this card means to me. So maybe you're going to get an ideal job at night or something that's going to benefit the whole family and just work better for you. So now I'm going to pull the Angels and Ancestor cards for you. Oh my goodness. So the first one for you is Stargazer, set your sights higher. So Stargazer is a couple things. It means focus on something, something that you need to focus on. So you might have a big picture and kind of narrow in on whatever that may be for you. Something you need to use two hands to focus on, if that makes sense. I also feel like Stargazer, to me, is saying you um, could have connections with a star person or you yourself could be a star person, which means to me people are sent down here um, to help mankind navigate the earth because we're getting ready to go through a change, the age of Aquarius is what I feel. And so there is people down here, children being born, that are really smart, like the people who are um, born, what's it called when they have a strong skill? It's right on my brain, but I can't think of it. Pro prodigies. So like the prodigies are probably star seed people who come down here and they're going to, they vibrate at a different, more pure level. So they're going to help guide mankind through the difficult times. So the next one is peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. So this talks about not focusing your energy on not going with the flow. So not arguing with people over something. There's something they're asking you to be the white buffalo and just agree with something to get out of a situation that right now it's better for you to be a peacekeeper. This also kind of tells me if you are a starseed person you just are a natural peacekeeper. You can calm situations just by your voice and talking to people. You can make peace where other people can't. You can bring people together. You can make bridges, it seems like, for people to get along where they didn't before. So these are pretty powerful to me. So thank you so much, Pisces Aries, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.